Solo event, side quest, objectives guides. Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, just a quick like update from me. You're probably wondering like, oh Rich, you, in the last two days you've only uploaded one video uh, on the channel, um, which is not really like what I like to do. I like to do uh, various topics, you know, about two videos minimum and one shorts. I haven't been able to do that and that's because I was very busy over the weekend and uh, we were and I was like trying to prep and I didn't prep the week. Normally I'd spend a bit of time to, you know, create these like spreadsheets or I kind of put a structure in place. Like I don't wing it, you know, unless I'm covering new stuff, I don't wing it. I do spend a bit of time kind of planning these spreadsheets together, making sure we're kind of hitting all the marks with stuff. So there is an element of structure to it. Thank you for the support as always. But I'm gonna get back to this now, two video per day, spreadsheets, guides, so much stuff. Shorts as well, it's gonna come back uh, in the next, uh, well, today and then starting tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and forever and a day until the game dies. Hopefully it doesn't. Anyway, um, I've updated this spreadsheet. One thing that I, I did hint to this spreadsheet, but I didn't kind of like give it out to you. <laughs> Uh, especially because tomorrow we've got the Royal Hunt and I want to make sure that we hit the ground running with uh, getting you prepared, finding where the places to go are, uh, you know, breaking down each fight, giving you as much info as possible. That's what I like to do, give you as much info as possible and you make a decision of how you want to play out the stuff. So we're going to cover th that um, uh, tomorrow. So I've written a little thing when it comes to the side quest. We're going to go over some side quest options. I'm going to break down this video into two parts. So I've probably got two tabs or three tabs, whatever you want, like tabs to kind of go like where to go, what to do and stuff like that. So uh, let's go over this. Let's break everything down into the segments. And it's a very straightforward side quest and objectives and solo events. So without further ado, let's just get into it, shall we? So the first thing to go over is uh, objectives. You've probably seen these and you've probably done them. This is why I, you've probably not seen, the reason you haven't seen me do like a video or like a shorts or anything is because it is ridiculously straightforward this uh, particular month. The solo event just off the bat is this surging salvo and you're probably seeing it in the same way I'm seeing it. You've done them all. To do this is defeat an offensive burst champion in any game mode, excluding practice mode. And you can see just by doing stuff like Alliance Quest, Alliance Wars, I've done it. Uh, if you want a fight option, go to, because say, I don't know, you're casual with the game. If you're casual with the game, you're casual. You know, that's still cool. You're very welcome to this community, whether or not you play for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour a day or more. So in uh, 1.3, which is the Angela quest, because Angela's right at the very end, which you can see down there, there is a Rocket fight. Rocket is indeed that offensive burst type champion. I don't think we, can we get the eye here on the champion? Now, I wonder if Kabam could add that at some stage to kind of like add an eye for these, but that's fine because we can just go to there, sort by text, go down, and we should hopefully find a Rocket. There we go. And Rocket will be under the tags of, well, I should have just sorted by the tags, but it says Offensive Burst, which you can see top left-hand corner. And that will, indeed will get you a surging salvo if you're not if you're not going out of the way to do it. I mean, you could auto-fight through literally anything and find uh, it's, um, it's done. Now, the other one is going to be the objectives, the Week 1 objectives. Again, I assume you've done these. Providing you have done the side quest, you do both objectives. Like, that's... That's how easy uh, the objectives and solo event, and that's obviously the reason I've not made any kind of like content or video coverage. Is it's just really simple. There's nothing uh, complex about it. So if you go to the uh, Chronoversary, which we'll talk about in the part two of this, go to either 2014 uh, or 2015, and effectively, as it says in the objectives, your your winning fights using champions tagged either 2014 or 2015 in any game mode. You could go out and do this in any other way, but you're going to do AQ, AW, lots of other different modes, and you've probably done it like that. That's that's, that's how easy these are. Even tackling an offensive damage. If I think if I even mentioned in the video like how the side quest works is you only have to do 100% of the Chronoversary, so 2014 Chronoversary, and you'll find yourself getting that done. So...
nothing more to sell on that one. So that's part one of the video. Part two, we'll be talking about champions and options and going to the other tab, which is the uh, Chronoversary Options tab, which is uh, right at the bottom, second tab in of this uh, spreadsheet guide, which of course, and just to repeat, because some people don't listen to the videos that well, I will be doing a Royal Hunt update video, a Royal Hunt coverage video, and this spreadsheet will be the one I'll be, uh, so the link will be in the description, and the link in tomorrow's video will be the same as it will be covering uh, both types of events, doing a how the side quest works, which as we see there, will be in this section, and there'll likely be a tab going where you go, what you do, how you do kind of thing. So part two, chronoversary options. This is where things get really fun because you're able to use some really powerful champions. For a lot of players that won't have access to some of these champions, this will be about increasing your roster depth. There are some special crystals that have been going out, which as soon as you get the shards for them, open them up because they are the uh, venerable crystals. The venerable crystals get some of those particular champions, which are going to help you along the way. If you're, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have some of these champions because... For a lot of players that are legacy players, and you will find that a lot of people have those 2014-based options. So in the Chronoversary, there are some really, really decent 2014 champions. In the first one, which is the one we're going to be focusing on right here, your choice of champions will range for some of the strongest buff champions that have been released in recent years and over the years as well. One of my personal favorites is Hulk. One of my second personal favorites is Juggernaut. One of my third personal favorites is Storm, amongst a lot of other champions in the game. If you have a seven star version and a six star version you can put them in both at the same time kicking ass along the way or maybe you could add in you know um yeah just like a seven star six star and five star version and that will clear the paths on your way i put a few notes together on the uh, top rated options which i've kind of referred to this as top rated options they give different things they're helpful and in any kind of way whether or not you're bringing in the power control might of vision whether or not you're dealing with uh, enemies that have a lot of buffs and you're using ronan heavily uh, signatured that can be very fun and there's more you know recently buffed iron man packs a punch the same thing with gamora with buffs uh, get more buffs on do a load of damage that is absolutely brilliant whether or not you want to do a rng uh, parry heavy and then unload an sp2 with colossus you indeed can do that and have a lot of fun in the meantime it's also nice to break out the crit rating machine of getting just pain on the enemy uh, which is scarlet witch scarlet witch is still a lot of fun but you have the 200 signature and you have to await you have to wake an anti 200 signature for her to really pack the punch to uh to do it deliver or get, get lucky with things like buffs or, uh, or debuffs with poisons uh, or, or any kind of thing that's going to be beneficial, mainly with the few, mainly with the Furies, and I think it's the cruelty as well that Scarlet Witch has. It's been a long time since uh, I've played her, but it was definitely nice to kind of uh, see her uh, pop up and get some of these 0 to 8 buffs and hopefully do a lot of that damage through her, uh, through her Chaos Magic and uh, the Veil of Fortune. Um, but yeah, on the particular path in general, uh, there are some interesting fights some fine fights as well as uh, we try and connect in on the particular paths yeah spider-man could be a bit of a frustration for me it wasn't i just got hulk hulk does damage hulk did a lot of the stuff i do think that you'll need a poison immune for this fight here the abomination fight and apart from that um yeah it, it's very straightforward the Punisher fight is annoying and there's a lot of chip damage. Do, do be cautious about the chip damage that could really take off your health, especially if you're rocking a 6-star. And actually, same thing with a 7-star as well, to be honest. Those are really things to watch out for on that. It's very straightforward. The 2015 has a lot of, again, buff champions for the like previous years. This is, this is funny. When I look back at this list here of the top rated, most of those have been buffed. None have been, like, none of them have remained the same since launch. That's quite scary, isn't it? But in a good kind of a way that we now have, you know, Kabam are revamping some of the old ones. I personally like Joe Fixit, and that was a recommendation from someone, and I've, I've, I've been hesitant for years on Joe Fixit, even after the buff. Venom, after the buff, brilliant. Hulkbuster, my personal, one of my personal favourites, fantastic, I recommend that. Luke Cage as well. Uh, is is really coming into his own as a as a current meta, uh, like uh, not count yeah counter champion. I've got a meta counter champion to stuff. 
useful against uh, Serpent. You know, that's one of the reasons it's kind of like... And it is buff as well. Look, he's great at damage. Get debuffs. Or, yeah, get debuffs on the enemy. You do more damage. Your attack rating increases. Like that. That's great. There are, of course, a lot of other options to bring in. Whether or not you go, go White Magneto, Red Magneto. I personally would opt for the Red Magneto. Just as... Uh, I, I just prefer his rotation on, on stuff. The champion goes well. Uh, Magneto goes well against a lot of hashtag metals. You've got Yellow Jacket, hashtag metal. You've got uh, Rocket, hashtag metal. I can't remember if uh, Deadpool Weapon X is... Uh, and it's good, good to check in this video whether or not he is... A hashtag metal but any of those on the path that are indeed hashtag metal will be a great option to take and uh, and use he is not hashtag metal those uh well they must be made of uh, vibranium then those uh, katanas uh, all joking aside there's a lot of hashtag metals so using white magneto does uh, or red magneto helps out to kind of get further down you know, you've got war machine over to the right You've got, uh, what's the name, Th Thor Jane Foster over there. Superior Iron Man, I don't know, I can, that's another one. I cannot remember if he's if he's hashtag metal or not, because I think he's got, has he got special type of, uh, no he isn't, okay, wrong. <laughs> no, I, I was right then, I had this sneaky suspicion he wasn't. Okay, so those have been some options uh, to take on those particular paths. I, I would also put in a... Uh, decent uh, champion to take on magic. Where is magic? She's not here, but sometimes that Doctor Strange... No, that Doctor Strange is magic? I don't know. I faced off against that Doctor Strange, and it wasn't a Doctor Strange. It was a magic. And I think it, that's that's a mistake there, um, that it's a magic. It's not a Doctor Strange, it's a magic. So I, w I would recommend taking a champion like uh, Joe Fix It, because you can put a Petrify on, and you can make sure that she doesn't regen. You could also bring in Luke Cage, who is, again, you know, class advantage, does a lot of damage, very short space of time. That's how I would play that. Um, yeah, nothing else. Red Magneto, helpful. Uh, be wary about the fact that there's not a huge amount of spicy or decent, powerful, uh, mystic-based champions from 2016. I don't think you want to use uh, Guillotine, but, uh, yeah, you may... You may not. Anyway, that's been a video. I'm back in the saddle, so I'm um, going to work on another video, Saga Incursions, community-led uh, ideas video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.